don't get a divorce. Get a donut. All right. Hey, welcome to you. And it's another early morning. I'm in Burbank at the uh, Donut Prince, which is kind of famous uh, because of Rhett and Link and their advertisement with George Lopez. If you watch your show, coffee's nice. They had a good selection of coffee, and I normally like to just blend them all together and make something interesting. And their donuts are nice too. Very good. Very spongy. So I'm pleased. It's morning time. And just uh, finished a uh, kind of a slow night. It It's Wednesday. Uh, it's, yeah, Wednesday. And yeah, it's, it was kind of a slow... Uh, wait, Tuesday. Boy. I'm tired. It's morning been driving all night. Yeah, what are you going to do, huh? So it's Wednesday morning. And fucking diesels. All right, so a few interesting things just going on. Uh, my last trip was, let's see, well, because uh, I'm with like said, the independent cab company and they have accounts with things like hospitals and other institutions and one of them is the Judge Judy Show, if you've ever watched that or so forth. Anyways. Whoever goes to their show or goes on the show gets, we pick them up at the airport, uh, take them to the Sheraton, mostly, up in Universal Studios or Universal City, where Universal Studios is, and then we take them to the studio in Hollywood. Hmm. Good donuts. Anyways, that was my last trip, was uh, this nice couple uh, from North Carolina, that lovely southern accent, uh, going to be on the Judge Duty show, because he's got a horse, and apparently he's being sued by a woman whose mares all got pregnant by this uh, stallion. <laughs> so he's being sued for sowing his wild oats or domesticated oats, I guess. I mean, it's a horse, so they're domesticated, so. But they were a really cool couple. All the way from North Carolina. I don't think I did my accent correctly, but eh, that's fine. That was a fun trip. Let's see. Now, recently, um, two very interesting things happened. Two very interesting trips that happened. Um, both of them went from near the airport to um, San Pedro and actually downtown Los Angeles to San Pedro and Long Beach, which is interesting because that doesn't happen too often. That kind of uh, So yes, uh, let's see, I just uh, dropped some guy who had just been at the bars partying. I just dropped him off and he's, uh, I dropped him off on Crenshaw, Adams, that area of Los Angeles. So as soon as I drop him off, uh, I get a call and so I go there and it's a lady who is heading to San Pedro to go to one of the uh, ILWU union halls down in the, down there, since of course that's where the giant uh, port is, Port of Los Angeles, 
Right, so, so that's where I took her, and she was going from there to join the people who are involved in the cleanup for the oil spill out in Santa Barbara. Okay, so, so she was pretty cool. Got a nice tip out of that, and interesting trip. So then uh, nothing was going on in San Pedro, of course, since, I don't know, it's, never get any trips from there. Anyway, so I head right back to downtown Los Angeles, and then uh, got called to one of the, oh yeah, the Biltmore. I get called to the Biltmore Hotel. I mean, this is a really, it's a really, really fancy restaurant. A restaurant. It's a hotel. It's a fancy, rich hotel. You gotta have some bucks if you wanna stay there. So anyway. I get called there, and it's uh, some stupid drunk businessman type, and he's got to go to Long Beach. Anyways, they're spending. Uh, we're, he's pretty drunk. It's late in the morning, early in the morning, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Something like that. So, anyways, I'm. They're arguing about if he wanted to go or if he wanted to stay. At some point, he just shoved a bunch of money at me, and then it took it back. Uh, at least he was kind of belligerent, somewhat. But he was uh, with some lawyer uh, and some assistant. All right. Anyways, uh, they wanted to get him off. I was the only cab downtown, so. At least, yeah, yeah, pretty much the only cab downtown at that time. So it's just a big crash of like 10 minutes just arguing and, no, I don't want to go, I just want to go home and sleep. Well, we got a room up here. Uh, no, that kind of thing. So anyway, finally, like I said, we determined, like I said, the how much it's gonna to cost to take him down there. He does a, uh, a flat amount of 80 bucks, right? And then we take off and then he calms down somewhat because I'm playing classical music and yeah, he just kind of calms down some. He, he kind of jokes a little and then I get him to his place in Long Beach and it's about 75, so I get a somewhat decent tip. So that worked out. All right, so that's a couple of cool things it's been going on recently. Okay, all right. So here I am at the Donut Prince in Burbank, enjoying a nice donut and some great coffee. So come on by. Just look for the sign. And this is Drew, your Tinsel Town Taxi, signing off, and see you till next time.